Christmas is just around the corner, and therefore wanted to reiterate a few points about it um, during this uh, holiday season. <clears throat> it is very well known that Isa al is one of the high-ranking prophets in the Islamic community system. He is uh, among the uh, top Anbiya and Mosaddin. He's among the Urazim prophets, along with uh, Prophet Nuh, Prophet Ibrahim, Prophet Musa, and Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salatu wasalam, And um, we, not only that, we also believe that his uh, birth was a miracle by itself, and that God had given him powers to perform miracles. This are uh, very clearly mentioned in the Quran, and actually there is a surah in the Quran named after Maryam, salatu alayhi And um, not only that, the followers of Jesus, uh, known as Christians, are considered to be Ahlul Kitab in the views of the Shia jurists. So this is, this is a matter of our system is concerned. But let me now ask the question, does that mean that we celebrate Christmas or follow the Christian rituals and participate in that? And this is why I would like to make three important points very clear. Number one, Christmas as a birth celebration of Jesus started among the Christians before Islam. So it's not that the Prophet of Islam or the Imams of Arabic were not aware of this uh, celebration. Uh, despite talking highly about Jesus, we see that the Prophet and other Imams have given no indication of join, joining in the celebration. Actually, 25th of December is not even the birthday of Jesus. Check any reference about the origins of Christmas, and you will see that 25th of December was the uh, celebration for the birth of Sun God, worshipped by the pagan Romans before they became Christians. They used to worship uh, Sun as one of the powerful elements for the earth. And after the Romans converted to Christianity, they could not let go of this celebration at the holiday spirit of the 25th of December. And so, because of that insistence, we see that the church, in order to appease the Romans, allowed that celebration with a slight change in its name. And so they changed it from the birthday of the Sun God to the birthday of the Son of God. So, Jesus was not actually born on the 25th of December. Number one, this is confirmed historically. Number two, Muslims have interacted with Christians from the early days of Islam, but they never participated in Christmas uh, celebrations. It is only after Muslims have migrated to the West that this question is coming up. And I will be blunt on this issue that the question is not about really the love for Isa alayhi salam, it is more about trying to emulate what we see around us in this Christian majority society. <clears throat> the third important point is that respecting Prophet Isa does not mean we, that we adapt the rituals of Christianity. Yes, we can wish them well during the holiday seasons, but we cannot be part of their rituals, such as attending the midnight mass on Christmas Eve, or decorating a Christmas tree at our home or at our center. <clears throat> Christmas tree is actually a much, much, much later addition to the Christian uh, celebrations of Christmas, added about just 400 years ago in Europe. <clears throat> When we start adapting the customs and traditions of others, especially those connect, which are connected to the region, that shows not only our ignorance, but also the sense of inferiority complex. You as Muslims must resist the peer pressure, more so when you live in a non-Muslim society. Look at the you know, Muslims who have lived for centuries in millions in India. They've been a minority, but they don't mingle with the religious rituals of the Hindus. You know, they have that mutual respect for one another in that way. We should respect the rights of other religious communities to observe their religious rituals, but we should not be adapting their religious ways and traditions. You look at Surah Kafirun, one of the last, uh, in the last part of the Quran, you'll see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling the Prophet, and through him is telling us, then when you interact with non-Muslims, your line should be very clear. All you who disbelieve, I do not worship the idols that you worship, nor will you worship the God that I worship. I'm not going to worship what you worship, nor will you worship what I worship. You shall have your religion, and I shall have my religion. And so Islam is very clear. We are talking about, you know, live and let live. Let us not mix and confuse one another's rituals. Let it, each religious community practice their own rituals and traditions. It all boils down to one fundamental question. We want to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or we want to please the people around us.